welcome to another video. Today I have had a parcel arrive from a company called Varnail. Here are their contact details. So this is their Instagram, TikTok, Facebook and Pinterest. And that's their website, varnail.com. Look at this, look. Pretty things inside. So Varnail is a nail art company and they are really affordable guys look at this bubble wrap how cute is that they're all little hearts oh i love bubble wrap so they have sent me a few little goodies to try out so they've sent me their base coat bar nails gels are all made from natural ingredients so like it says here all our gel polishes are made with our ingredients linked to toxicity. Big, five free, cruelty free and vegan friendly. So they're really good quality products. Oh, I like these bottles. They're matte. Oh, I like them. And they're square. I love square bottles. So this is the base coat. You get 15 mil glass bottle. Mmm, smells quite nice. It's a nice thin consistency I do like a thin base coat and the top coat is five free vegan and cruelty free so this is a tempered top coat this is meant to be really really shiny it hasn't hardly got any smell to it at all the smell that it the smell that it has got is quite nice quite a thin consistency and these cure in an LED lamp for 30 to 60 seconds and 60 to 90 seconds in a UV lamp. So then they sent a couple of gel polishes. These look so nice, guys. I can't wait to try these. So this is a reflective gel and it's called Firefly. Colour number RG18. Ooh, look at this one, guys. That is gorgeous. Can't wait to try that. And this one again is a reflective gel. And it's called Night Sky, colour number RG22. Oh, that's a nice colour. Oh, I like that. It's a really nice dark blue. Look at that. That's pretty. Then they sent me some solid building gel. Non-sticky hands. You get 15 mil. I'm going to be using these today on my nails, guys. So this one is nude colour 04. Oh, and they've got the stupid uh, metal foil things on look. Right, I'm going to get the lids off these and then I'll pop back in in a minute. Right, so this is the nude. Really nice pinky nude colour. This is 03, which is a pink. I like that really pretty baby pink colour. This one is 02, egg white. That's nice. It's not a super bright white. It's a really nice natural looking white. That'd be lovely for French tips. I think that's probably the road I'm going to go down today. And then this one is 01, which is the clear. And that looks crystal clear as well. Not only can you use these to build a nail, guys, but you can also use them as a carving gel as well. And I'll show you that in an upcoming video. So I'm going to be building some nails on my left hand today using a couple of those. And I'm going to be using these as well. So these are the stiletto dual forms. Now I do know these stiletto dual forms do work out quite small. So I don't know whether I'm going to be able to use one on my thumb or not. So that's a zero. Mm. I might just build the nail. So I've got them sized up already. And then they sent me the 
file and buffer kit. So we've got a 180 file, 100-150 file, a 100-180 file and a 100-180 buffer. Lovely, I can't wait to try them. And then lastly, they have kindly sent me a poly gel brush. So it's one way you get the spatula on one end and the brush on the other end. I like these poly gel brushes. I'm not going to use this today though, guys, because I don't even know if I'm going to be using a brush at all today, to be honest. But I'm going to save that for when my brush wears out. I don't like using new brushes when I don't need to. So that's everything what they've sent me. Thank you so much, Bar Nail. So, I've already prepped my nails ready, pushed my cuticles back, scraped away any dead skin, buffed over my natural nail, removed the shiny surface. Now I'm going in with my dehydrator. And my acid-based primer. Now I'm using the Varnell base coat. Then I'm going to cure that in my lamp for 30 seconds. So I'm going to use number four, nude, first. I think I'm going to do a full nail of that first on my ring finger, just so I can get a feel for it, see what it's like. So I've just pulled that out with my cuticle scraper. And what I like about this is you can mould it with your fingers. It's not sticky at all. This is why I said I haven't really got to use the brush. I'm just making sure that I'm getting that right up those sides. And then I'm just going to pop that on my nail. Make sure it's straight and pop it straight in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. And that's that one done. So, next one is Pinky. So on the Pinky, I'm just doing a nail bed. Pop that in the lamp. And on my thumbnail, I think I'm going to sculpt, you know. I'm just going to show you how easy it is to do without Jewel forms, so easy, super easy. So you can just mold this with your finger. And then to get that crisp smile line, I'm just going to use my cuticle scraper, kind of sculpt that brick wall. And then when I come in with the white, I can push that product up to that brick wall. Just 
just like that then pop that in the lamp all right so now i'm going to take all these jewel forms off just give them a little wiggle wiggle and they'll come straight off like that right so now i'm going to give these a little bit of a file so i'm using my metal file because you cannot beat a metal file to do nail beds they really crisp up nice so I'll just show you me doing this one and then I'll do the other three off camera so now I'm going to add the white tips so I'm going to use number two egg white so what I'm doing here is I'm just measuring up how long those nail beds are and then I'm going to know how far I need to go up with the white so now I'm going to Apply that to the jewel forms, but only to the tip. And I know that I need to take this white just a little bit past the end of the smile lines. Make sure again it's getting right up them side walls. Because you're not going to have any pressure on the bottom of this. Like when you put this on the nail, doing the nail bed, there's pressure coming from your nail when you're pushing it down but there's going to be no pressure on this to push them up the side walls so you need to make sure that is right up those side walls and then I'm going to push it back on but kind of squidge it up that smiled line if that makes sense Kind of like that. Give that a cure. Right, so on the thumb, again, I'm going to sculpt it by hand. Not sure how I'm going to do this yet, but I'm just going to wing it. You know what guys scrap that scrap that idea scrap it never going to be able to wing that because it's just flopping downwards so i tell you what i am going to do though i am going to leave these little side bits on what i should have done is i should have applied a paper form to my thumb and then that would have stopped it curling downwards. But hey ho, you live and learn. And then the rest I'm gonna do with the jewel form. I'm gonna cheat. I'm cheating, sorry. Right, so now I'm gonna remove all these jewel forms. Just give them a little wiggle and off they come. Easy peasy. Ta-da! Look at these. They're not looking to at the minute are they but they will be very soon so I'm gonna give them all a file so now I'm gonna use my 150 grit file and I'm just gonna file over the top of these and get rid of that excess white I'm just gonna show you me doing the one now guys and then I'll do the rest off camera just to save a bit of time because it's the same process on every nail it's quite awkward to file on camera. God, Chris, that smile line is, guys. Look at that, that is so crisp, can't wait to see that with top coat on, so crisp, hee <laughs> hee. So I'm going to file the rest of these off camera. Right guys, they've now all been filed, so I'm now going to give them all a buff. 
with the Varnail 100 180 grip buffer. And then we'll be ready to do some artwork. Ooh, this buffer feels like a really nice quality buffer. I like that. Right, there we go. So now, I'm going to pop a little bit of this Reflective Gel RG22 Night Sky on my palette. And I think I'm going to do some swirly swirls. And then on this one, I'm going to give it a full coat of night sky. Wow, that is a really beautiful colour. Beautiful colour, isn't it? So I'm going to pop that in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds. So this is the RG18 Firefly, guys. How pretty is that? It's so pretty. I oh, love that. It's got like a golden greeny shimmer running through it. It's so pretty. I really like that. I want to try this one over a black, though, guys, because I think this is going to look really smart over a black. I think it's one of those colours, you know, that's a bit chameleon-y. So I'm just going to pull a black swatch stick out. And we'll have a little look, shall we? Yes, it is. I knew it was. It's got that kind of chameleon-y look to it. I just knew when I saw it. How smart is that? Yeah, look at that. See, so you're seeing it with the flash on. Um, how can I show you this now without the flash on? One second. See, it's still sparkly without the flash on, but then when you turn the flash on, it sparkles like crazy. Ta da! So, time to get my nails finished off now, guys. So, I'm going in with the Var Nail Tempered Top Coat. Right, I'm going to pop them in the lamp for 30 seconds. So that's all my nails done, guys. What do you think? I love them. I'm really liking these long stilettos at the minute on my hands, as you've probably noticed. That gel polish is stunning as well. Really, really pretty colour. And look how crisp those nail beds turned out. Super crisp. And the cuticles are really neat. Yeah, them jewel forms are really, really nice to use. This nude colour is my kind of nude colour. It's a really, really pretty nail bed colour, isn't it? This solid building gel is an amazing product to use, guys. It's not sticky. There's no cleanup required. I really enjoyed using it. I'm definitely going to be using that again. And it feels super solid as well. It doesn't feel flimsy or nothing. It feels like a really solid product. So yeah, really happy with that. I'm definitely going to be using that a lot more often. Everything that I've shown you today, guys, I'm going to leave listed in my description box below. I'll also leave all the links to Varnail in my description box as well, along with my 25% discount code, which you'll see is also there in the top right hand corner of the screen. And that's everything for today's video. I want to say a huge thank you to Varnail for sending me all of these gorgeous goodies. Really enjoyed using them. I really hope you guys all enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you're not already. 
and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.